Peace and blessings, family. I go by the name of DJ912. And what we finna do right now is the FL Studio 20 cook up. We're gonna start this thing from scratch, man. Um, let's see what I can come up with. Stay tuned. Hey, so I'm going to take the time to say this. Uh, if you don't know chords, if you don't know chord progressions, that's the first thing that you need to start off with when you learn how to do beats or any type of musical uh, concepts. Um, I couldn't find I couldn't find this last chord progression because I didn't know where it landed after that. I heard it in my head, but I didn't know. So a key thing is I started here. Now, I don't know the chord name, so... Don't ask me. But I started. I started here. Which is a uh, G. Started here on a G. And I just mirrored that on the bottom note, on the bass note. So, excuse me. When I got to that last chord, which would be um, when I got to this chord here I didn't know I didn't know what was next so what I did was starting from this note here I counted up three steps 
So this is one. So it'll be one, two, three, and that's my next note. And I did the same for each note, and it came out of the next, and it fits. Um, it, it has something to do with uh, musical concepts. Um, what is the junk called, man? It, it has to do a lot with music theory. Like, if you can find one note, then you can find the rest. So, I mean, with that being said, just if you get stuck on a chord, I don't care what chord it is. If you count up three notes, now nine times out of ten, you really gonna you gonna you should hit your next chord. And that's how I've been learning. And I've learned through different various YouTube videos, different um chord books. Um, I got a few laying around the house. Sometimes I just pick up and I just read the chord books. But uh, let's keep going, man. Let's see what it's gonna come out like. Thanks for tuning in to this live cook up at FL Studio 20 with your boy DJ912. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and come into this channel and hit that notifications button so you can be notified every time I drop a new video. I'll be dropping new videos every week, whether it's a beat video or a live cook up or um a tutorial on something. So uh leave a comment below. Let me know what y'all y'all want to see next or what y'all want to hear next. Um let's keep going.
believe y'all guys are still tuning in. I appreciate y'all. So stay tuning in to this this live cookup. It's pre-live cookup in the FL Studio 20. So we're just cooking on something from scratch to just finish it off. We're going to do the uh, mix down portion of it. And we're going to do a little track out. We can get up out of here, man. But the uh, make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment down below. And um, this is a, making a beat from scratch in FL 20 with the cookup. It's your boy DJ912. But I'm back. Let's continue this mix. Thanks for tuning in. If you still tune in, appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you comment, man. If you want to hit the notifications button, I very, very much appreciate it.
So we finna start tracking out, uh, do a little edit. Then we're going to get up out of here. Thanks for tuning in. DJ912Peaks.com is where you can find me, man. Thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel. Make sure y'all like, subscribe. Subscribe. Can't never say that word right. Make sure you like and subscribe, man, for more FL Studio 20 tutorials and uh, live cookups, man. We ain't here making beats from scratch. Uh, here we go. Stay tuned. And just so y'all know, man, don't think I forgot about that single snare. This one right here. I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do with it.
And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Another live cook up with your boy DJ912 and FL Studio 20. Salute, man. Uh, I'm probably going to do another cook up later on today. Shit, maybe hit you on the first thing in the morning. So, y'all stay tuned. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, man. Make sure you drop a comment and let me know what you think. Um, all comments are. All comments are, are welcome. But if it's negative, it will get booted. Salute.